Won't you be my? Won't you be my? Won't you be my Valentine? Because I adore you, I'd give anything for you. You make me smile, smile, smile. And when I'm around you, things kinda get hate. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the I Can't Stay Report. Today is February 14th, 2013, and it is, of course, Valentine's Day. Now, to celebrate this, we have a special uh, preview for you guys to check out, and that is the Cupids. Now, their planet isn't done yet, but we're working on their core features right now, so let's just jump right on in and get into it. Now, let's, uh, let's just, yeah, let's do it in survival. Uh, oh, no, not Leprechaun. Cupid test world. Yeah, this is something that's uh, really cool that we're working on right now. It's still in development. We've only been working on their feature set for about a under a week, actually. So let's just go to Dimension 16. I'll go to Shillelagh just to uh, test it out because I don't want the Minecraft environment to get into the way. Ignore the leprechauns. I'll be doing a video on them shortly. So, uh... There's the sky, there's the leprechauns. Now, let's just change my game mode really quick so I don't get killed. Uh, yeah, there. So, let me run down the features of the Cupids. The Cupids in Earth culture were Roman gods of love and the children of Venus. <clears throat> Cupids are small winged boys and girls carrying a bow and love arrows. The arrows, once struck the heart, makes the victim fall in love. However, in some species that have two hearts, the arrow has some serious side effects. Now, the Cupids are the part of the smart entity system, aka advanced AI. Their home planet is found in the system of legends. They can be found in the clouds on their home world, which is not completed. They have custom bows and love arrows, which are also not completed and not featured in this video. Cupids are not hostile by nature. However, they will try to spread love everywhere. If you see, if they see you, they will try to strike you with a love arrow. If the player is hit by an arrow, they will become sick and moderately lose control of their players uh, of their avatar's movements. Heart animations pop up all over the avatar. Your field of view goes crazy. Health diminishes. Uh, yeah, it's basically like you're having a mind trip from Cupid love arrows. I can't believe how corny that sounds. Anyways, uh, cupids come in both female and male varieties. I think the babies are actually called cherubs. I don't know. Uh, heart particle animations. Cupids will have a heart animation coming from their wings. The hearts in this animation will vary in size, ranging from very small to small to medium to very... Well, not uh, no large. Uh, this is an e experimental work in progress. The heart animations you will see in this video, however, are experimental. We're just getting the groundwork for them, which is why they're coming out of... I think they're either coming out of the feet or the cherub's ass. Oh, I'll have to censor that, damn it. Uh, so yeah, uh, when killed, the heart particle animations disperse in an exploding-like effect. Uh, Cupid Home Planet is a shout out to classic platformer games. The clouds on the planet are tense water vapor, meaning you can walk on the clouds, similar to what was in the Doctor Who Christmas special this year. We had this concept first. Planet surface far down below the clouds. Automatically generated buildings in the clouds. Must dodge all Cupids on your quest for the TARDIS Memory Matrix Crystal, or else. So yeah, basically, the Cupids aren't evil, they're not trying to kill you, they just want to make you love something, and they end up trying, almost killing you, or killing you, depending on if you dodge the arrows or not. You'll be seeing them in this, uh, as I'm rambling on here, you'll be seeing video of it that I recorded previously. It was a mess trying to talk like this and do that. I hope you guys like this uh, special edition of... The Vikings Daily Report. I mean, there's tons of custom. Uh, I mean, there's tons of new graphics and and uh, intros and whatnot. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing more special event daily reports like this. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like the Cupid. We're we're working really hard on them. We've got some cool things planned that I didn't cover in this video because I'm not sure if they're going to be entirely possible. So I don't want to get everyone's hopes up. But I think we should be able to get them done. So, yeah, uh, next daily report, no, next I-King's 
mm, I King's random development ramblings will be about uh, the replicators in Stargate. We are working on Stargate Chevron 7 client mod in code now. Uh, Max Giraffe stock or whatever <laughs> is working on that. Uh, the cupids and the base of the Stargate Chevron 7 client mod. And yeah. Talk to y'all in, yeah, uh, in the next video. I hope you like this one. Uh, yeah. Have a good day. Have a good Valentine's Day. If you're going out, have fun on that. One thing I do have to mention before the credits roll is that what you're seeing in this video is not the finished version. I thought I might just clarify that for a little bit. The bows and arrows in this are not going to be the final bows and arrows. They're going to be totally custom. There's going to be a really cool design to the new arrows. Uh, I think you're going to like that. I just thought I would clarify that these are not... Uh, done yet however you will notice that the cupids have a satchel for storing their bows and arrows that is going to be cool that has some transcendental dimensions of its own where it's bigger on the inside which is why they have infinite arrows anyways i'll talk to you on the guy ugh, that should make the blooper real uh anyways i'll talk to you guys in the next video and yeah stay tuned after the intro credits for the blooper yeah What's up, everyone, and welcome to the I King. You gotta be shitting me. Come on. What's up, everyone? Fuck. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the I King's Daily Report. And fucking bird. Come on. What's up? What's up, everyone? Welcome to the I King's Daily Report. And today.